Hello, Sagittarius. It is the Sun Sage, and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your September reading, where I'm taking a look at what's going on for you in the month of September. So this is for Sagittarius placements, um, also for cross watchers of Sagittarius. This may resonate for you as well. Okay. These are general messages. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Sag, show us some themes for Sag in the month of September. What are some main themes for Sagittarius in September light? All right, you can feel like a weight is being lifted off of you in some way. Ask for help. You could be seeing the light about a situation. You could be learning something, okay, and move forward. Yeah, I feel like there's something about, like, you could be learning something new, okay? So that's that's coming through. You could be um, tr like training or getting your certification in something. There's something that I feel like you are uh, the student. Okay. When it comes to, I also feel like you're just like moving forward or moving on with your life in like a really positive direction here. There's something, there's some way you're moving forward in your life. And um, before you do, you could just be encouraged throughout this message to like talk to someone about it before you do anything. Okay, so let's take a look at light where I feel like you could feel like a weight is lifted off your shoulders. You could just also feel like um, you're having some light bulb moments in September. You're learning things. You're figuring things out. Um, you could feel like, uh, you know, people come to you for help. People come to you to be inspiration and light. We have the lighthouse here. So your guidance. Okay, you could be guiding people in the month of September, five of cups, right? I feel like there's some type of release that you could, you, you feel like the weight is lifted. There's something you're not sad about anymore. There's something you're seeing very clearly. There's something that you're able to, um, yeah, strength, be strong about something you're overcoming. Okay. Some of you have been getting over something. Some of you are able to like finally see why something happened, some sort of struggle because you had to overcome it. So there's just like something major happening in your life. I have the four of wands, like a celebration, an event. And I do feel like in order, like how you got to that point, how you're able to celebrate something is that there could be like a past that you have where you struggled or you had like um, very difficult situations happening and I just feel like you're looking at it differently I'm kind of getting an overall vibe of like um the hangman where you're seeing things differently you're seeing how pain and struggle is a part of your story in a good way okay let me try this again the star yeah you're healing you're, there's hope in your life you believe in something or you believe in someone or something again, or some, or you feel like you can uh, breathe a, fre a breath of fresh air. Leo, Aquarius here. Yep. Some of you like the worst is over. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Seven of Pentacles. It's time to like invest in um, positivity, optimism. There is the sun right there at the bottom. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, you're making an investment in your healing process as well. Something you're doing as well. Like I said, if you're like learning something, there's an investment in something, it does help you heal. It does make you feel better. Knight of Wands, that is your energy Sag. Also Aries, Leo, there's something you've been like waiting for, waiting to see how it turns out. And I feel like the Seven of Pentacles with the Knight of Wands, some of you have been waiting to move. It's finally happening. Some of you have been waiting for a vacation or to travel, uh, possibly with a lover. The uh, lovers here with Gemini energy. There's something happening that you've been like waiting, hoping it'll happen. And it does feel like it happens. Okay. Yep. There's the sun. So there's a great outcome and you're finally seeing why something took so long or why you invested so much. Like it's paying off big time. Okay. For some of you, this could be about a birth, right? You've been going through a pregnancy journey or just some journey of trying to birth something in your life. And it feels like it's finally starting to happen and come to fruition. Leo energy again. Yeah. The work has paid off, Eight of Pentacles. So I do feel very strongly that these showing up with light is you have hope. 
in something that you've been investing in and working on. It's it's starting to pay off, literally. Like you could be getting money out of this. It could just represent um, abundance and flourishing in your life. I just feel like there's a new bright like beginning where there's a lot of hope in something. Um, you have a lot of confidence and you're feeling good and energetic. You're feeling like positive energy and positive vibes in September. And I, again, I feel like a weight is being lifted off of your shoulders because you're happy. Okay, you're ha very happy. So ask for help. Let's take a look. Ten of Swords. All right. Um, I just feel like, yeah, I just feel like something's finally over. <laughs> Three of Wands. Ask for help. You're moving on. You're moving forward. And it feels like, again, as you're doing that, uh, asking for help. I'm also, I'm almost getting ask but don't rely on someone else's advice sort of like trust your own intuition because i do feel like there's something that isn't moving forward because something else is or other things are moving forward um there could be something you're closing out and you could need help on how to close it out especially if it's something you did invest in this let's see ask for help for a sword yeah something is coming to an end you're you're putting a rest to a situation it's like all right now what do i do with this <laughs> right i got all these good things happening i have all these amazing um events happening what, what am i supposed to do with something that i can't use anymore some of you may quite literally just be like wanting to get things out of your house things that are old things you don't use anymore but yeah seven of swords four of swords seven of swords Um, you're waiting for something for sure, but the wait is over in September. It just feels like while you're waiting, you could have to like not tell people about it. You could be being very sneaky about something, but you don't have to be sneaky about it for much longer. Hermit. Okay. Yeah. Something, there's something you're being silent about, something you've learned or something that you are like, it's, it feels kind of secretive. You're working alone in something. The three of swords. Yeah, I just feel like as you're starting to like see situations flourish and come to life. There's like something here that you like. You could be a little sad about it being over or leaving it back. No, not sad. You're kind of just like, no, you could be sad. The Three of Swords is here, but the Hermit is saying that you understand why you have to leave it behind or you understand that it hurts you, but you're not going to let it stop you. Somebody's like not who they say they are around you. I just don't feel like there's just not a lot of energy coming through with this individual Virgo here, judgment. Yeah, I feel like you're just like, I feel like you're learning. Something wasn't what you thought it was. And it, it feels like in contrast with something that is working out that it's like, wow, I really thought this was something, but now that all these good things are happening for me or I'm being blessed in this relationship, like I'm seeing that wasn't where it was at. Page of Swords. It's like a realization also, right? That you like you really did make the good make the right decision about something in September. That's what you could realize. In September, you made the right decision to leave something behind, to get away from something or someone. Virgo Scorpio here. All right, so move forward. Yeah, it's like the green, you get in the green light in September. It's okay to move forward in your life. No more staying stuck or no more being, uh, having to like wait for something. Magician, there it is. This is the energy of your manifestations coming to fruition. It's okay to like move on. <laughs> That's just like the strongest message. Ton of cups, happiness, family vibes. 
you're moving forward. Something is a dream come true. This is a dream come true overall. I feel like I'm almost getting some of you don't regret moving on from something or someone. And the reason why I has asked for help, you could feel a little detached from it. Like, why don't I care <laughs> that I am saying goodbye to this? Right. And I just feel like you're just overwhelmed with happiness. Sometimes move forward kind of gives me like the emperor. So you could be moving forward in a happy relationship and, and you're just like, I, I don't care, <laughs> you know, anymore about that person that broke my heart. I'm just sort of like very happy about this. Yeah. Eight of Wands. Things are changing fast. Communication is coming in rapidly. Okay. Things are like moving, right? Things are just like moving at a rapid pace, five of swords. And you're, it, I, I was about to say you're not looking back, but even if you are looking back, it's kind of like you're looking back a little boastful, uh, gloating a little bit, like, yeah, I'm moving on. Six of swords right there. The seven of wands, eight of wands, five of swords, seven of wands. Yeah, you're winning no matter what in September Yeah, it's like you're acknowledging five of swords. This could hurt somebody's feelings or me moving on could be a conflict with some what somebody else wanted, but you don't care. Seven of Cups. It's like you're you you are exposed to the life of your dreams and things are changing for the better. The will of fortune, seven of cups, will of fortune. It's like a time of confusion is coming to a close. It's the wheel is turning to a cups. Um, there's a love relationship here that feels like it's thriving in September, about to thrive. There is like somebody coming together with another person. Um, you feel very fortunate. You have like a lot of options in your life, a lot of things you could invest in, a lot of things you could work on, a lot of talent even. So it just feels like, yeah, there's something you're just given the green light about. You can move forward um, definitely in a love relationship that feels like it's coming together quite nicely. So Sagittarius, that is what I have for you. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button, the subscribe. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the link in the description box.